What is up guys? It's a Wanda Turtle and today we are doing something very different. We are not doing a Pokemon opening. We're not doing Yu-Gi-Oh! We're not even doing Magic the Gathering. We are doing something different, something that uh, this one really hits me in the feels. Uh, super nostalgia we're going on here. This is a card game that I'm not don't collect I don't play uh, however I saw it and uh, some of the cards looked really cool and they weren't that expensive actually they're super cheap uh, so I just had to buy some of them and they are whew, the Final Fantasy trading card game uh, I bought a bunch of cards that I just wanted to have because they're just so nostalgic to me uh, outside of Pokemon I feel like the the game or the franchise or as far as video games go um, that really stuck with me that means the most to me to my childhood would be Final Fantasy and you'll quickly learn which ones I was the most into uh, so let's just get right into it. we have a lot of cards to go through there's some more over here that are sleeved or there I feel like are even cooler so let's go right into Tonberry so actually this is uh, not sure what game this is exactly. I'm not sure what CC is uh, however Tonberry uh, just like a classic uh, Final Fantasy enemy um, and I feel like the one where I interacted with Tom Brady the most would be in Final Fantasy X. There was simply a boss that you could fight um, that would enabled you to level up really quickly and it just had this Tom Barry that slowly walked up to you then like if he stabs you with a knife you're like does like 99,000 damage to your character so thought that was hilarious so there we go Tom Barry's the start. Chocobo is cute little Chocobo. Um, such a classic little like uh, Final Fantasy piece of lore not lore but I think you know what I mean um, and this one is like very cartoony so I just love that and then we have another classic enemy the bomb the one that uh, either you leave it alone but if you attack he just grows bigger and bigger and then if you don't defeat in time he just explodes and like wipes out your team uh, that definitely happened to me in like Final Fantasy 7 quite a bit like when you're at that bridge area Buhamut or Bahamut. I'm not sure exactly how to say his name. I feel like I heard both. Um, but such a classic uh, summon. Probably the one that appears most in eh, between that one, Ifrit, and maybe uh, Shiva are all maybe tied. But Buhamut, I thought it was really cool. And we got a couple of cool arts of him. So I'm not sure what they mean by special. Uh, but then Neo Bahamut. So from Final Fantasy 7 there was actually three versions of him and this is the second one Neo Bahamut was such a cool summon he kind of like made the enemies rise up on this like rock or something and they blasted them out of the sky and they fell down very cool I don't have Bahamut Zero which was so cool it was like like lived in space or something and then we have a cartoon Bahamut as well all right, X-Stats. So I did not actually play, was that Final Fantasy V? However, I did play a mobile game called Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and that x Death was a big deal for a while. Um, and he was actually really easy to get. And um, in the beginning of the game, he was actually very useful. Uh, I just thought x Death was really cool. He kind of has, he's like a mage that uses a sword. Uh, he has all this big armor. The, I don't really know much of his backstory, but apparently he's like a tree or something, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Uh, but I thought x Death was very cool. So we have a couple different arts. And uh, one thing I want to make sure make very clear is like, you know, we pick up some like shiny cards and a lot of different alternate arts. Uh, these cards were very cheap. Um, most of them were all, like almost all of them were under a dollar. Some of them were like like a quarter or something like that so these cards are very cheap so if these things are super nostalgic to you like they are for me i recommend go checking them out the way I, the where i picked up these ones were in troll toad troll and toad and as long as you don't pick the ones that are actually like meta viable which you don't have to um they're just super cheap easy to collect for the sake of collecting uh, i honestly don't even know how the game works uh so vivi um from nine um nine was i wasn't crazy into but i did like the vivi character i feel like his um his back or his story kind of like what he goes through was very interesting and then we'll move on to final fantasy 8 um i think that was the first game i beat um and uh squall was i don't know he's kind of emo-ish his jacket's kind of it's weird how small it is i his scar is kind of weird i like i really liked the game i liked the junction system but the squall himself wasn't crazy cool I still don't understand what the big deal. I, I, I'm like, what is a gunblade? I still don't get it. It's very strange. Um, 
But uh, yep, there's Squall. <laughs> I had to get like the main characters for the, all the games that I played through. And here's Selfie from 8 as well. Um, I think the biggest thing I liked about Selfie, she had some pretty cool stuff you could do with her limit break. I think there was a way, I don't remember how it worked, but sometimes I would get it to, she would cast, I think this is called Asura, which basically allowed you to spam your limit, limit breaks, which was really interesting. Then we have Laguna. <laughs> I think I liked Laguna better than Squall. Um, I don't remember everything about him, but I felt like he was... He was like just a regular soldier, um, and he just wanted to do some good with his buddies. Um, was it like Biggs? Was it Biggs and Wedge? I can't remember. Oh no, Biggs, Biggs and Wedge were the enemies that kept showing up. Um, but the big guy and then the 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 one with like claw-like weapons. Quistis, um, she was like the teacher or mentor for Squall. She was okay. She used the whip. It was kind of weird. Here's another card for Laguna. Zell. Um, one of like his classmates uh he was pretty cool i did like his limit burst and if you kind of memorize the combinations you could just do so many attacks before the time ran out once you kind of like learn the loop all right now we're moving on to final fantasy 10 which i really enjoyed i think i might have played that game the most just because while you can beat the game and then to like 100 percent there's you have to do a lot more leveling up and eventually you figure out a way to like complete the sphere grid just because it was a very unique leveling system so kimari uh kimari was it was kind of weird it was very bleh Orin, on the other hand i did really like uh, i felt like he was always in my party because i felt like he was really strong and had all those breaks that you can really rely on so very cool card there titus uh the main character as far as main characters goes um, he's up there, not my favorite, uh, but pretty cool, uh, pretty cool guy. Uh, I feel like he had a lot of cool attacks, some pretty cool limit bursts. I think the biggest one I used, I used the most was, uh, some attack that like delayed the enemy's turn. Just so you could get your, some more attacks in from other characters. Uh, Riku, Riku is, is pretty cool. She had like interesting personality. I think she had like the thief stuff. Um, but then she was in the, I didn't finish the like X2 and stuff, but she featured in that as well, where they were all like gun wielders, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Yuna, as far as like the main heroines, um, she was okay, I guess. And then we have, uh, I think it's the same orange card, but just the hollow version and another Riku. She was, Riku was really useful in uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius though. Uh, Waka, I did like Waka, the Blitzball thing. I did get really into that and it was pretty fun. And one of his, I can't remember, they still call it Limit Break uh, or Limit Burst. Uh, his thing where he just spins around and does a lot of attacks. I always felt like, man, there's a way to abuse this where you can just power him up. And then, especially when you have like his break damage and you just do like tons of uh, 99,000 for with that Limit Break. So. I think that's, oh, to beat the game without like leveling up, you need to really abuse Waka in that limit burst. And then we have like a little chibi Titus, pretty cute with his brotherhood sword. And then another Waka. All right, this one, this was probably uh, tied for my favorite Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy Tactics. Such a cool game. It was I felt like it was the first of its kind and no other game, even the other Final Fantasy Tactics, never came close to matching uh, how much I love this game. Uh, the job system was so cool and uh, so I picked up a lot of cards for the various jobs and this this is like, these cards were like pennies for the different, even though when they're foils because they're all like commons. Uh, so I was really happy that I could pick up a bunch of these for the different jobs. So here we have the Geomancer. Geomancer, I was never too crazy about. I was like, what tile you're kind of tile you're on dictated what kind of attack you could use. Uh, but I felt like none of them were very strong. Occasionally, if you're, you could, like stand on lava or something, maybe it'll be strong. But you need special stuff to do that. And then we have, ah, uh, the main character, Delita. To be honest, when I played the game, I didn't wasn't crazy about Delita. Didn't really... He's not very really useful, you don't really get to control him, and he didn't seem that strong, but then when I kind of went back and understood the storyline, I had a much higher appreciation for Delita, how, you know, he wasn't a noble, and however, he kind of, you know, through uh, maybe not the best means, uh, he had the best intentions of how he wanted to fix the country and become king, and he ultimately was able to do that. Arithmetician, a very obscure job in my opinion. Um, and ultimately it wasn't that good. I'm sure there are ways to really abuse him. 
This one, to be honest, it is Final Fantasy Tactics. I don't remember who Ritz is, and I feel really bad saying that. Summoner. Oh, man. Summoner was so cool. Um, even when in the beginning, you just have the, I think it was Mog that kind of just heals up. Uh, but compared to um, the magic, like magic where you could hurt your allies, uh, this you couldn't, and it had a huge area spread, even though it took a little bit. And um, But yeah, Summoner was very cool. And then if you save up, I think it was like 1,200 job points, you could get Bahamut and then just like destroy stuff. Ovelia, the princess, just part of the storyline. Uh, I think she, think she, no, I don't think she died at the end, but I think uh, Dalia may have heard her though. Knight, very cool. I feel like Knight was a little bit disappointing because I thought, oh, all right, here's the Knight. He's gonna be super strong, but his he had the ability to like break weapons, which I never really abused. Um, so Knight was sounded cool, looked pretty cool, but I it felt like there were better classes. Oh, I, the, my favorite class, I don't have a card for. That was the, like the ninja class. I feel like that that class just broke the game, especially when you got his uh, two swords ability. Uh, basically, you just double your, your damage output. But Archer, very good in the early game. Um, the charges were kind of weird. I didn't really understand what's going on there. Um, but basically, it gives you some more range. Um, and then you could, when you have like a quick bow, then you can mix it with different stuff. Samurai. Samurai never got into uh, because their abilities, like, I think they like broke their sword and it did like AoE damage. But I was always the type of person like, I don't want to lose inventory. I don't want to lose equipment. Yeah, I guess I could buy some, but that felt like a waste. So I never really got into Samurai, especially where I associate Samurai and Ninja kind of like as the same tier. And Ninja was by far the best in my opinion. Here's our main boy, Ramza. Um, I really liked Ramza. He... You know wasn't crazy powerful but he had some unique skills uh at the squire ability like yell so eventually you can get really all your characters can go really fast um ult later on he gained some better abilities but ah so monk monk is one of my favorite uh the thing that i would do when i just need to level up basically i'll kill all the enemies and just leave one guy that was like critically wounded and then we would form like basically a plus sign with my five characters with the monk in the middle even if people are attacking us monk would just use chakra to heal everyone up and everyone else would have their squire ability just accumulate and ramza would keep yelling at everyone so that we can keep spamming off our moves dancer i feel like was very underwhelming she could just hide in the corner and very slowly do stuff to your opponents uh but it was like perfect aoe like no matter where they are um they'll it'll affect them here's the female monk yeah this this, this job system was just so cool um orator was kind of a weird unit i know mediator is the one that could invite i don't remember what orator did i feel like it's just like random status effects white mage um obviously for healing the squire just the starting class however this to me was the most important because it allowed you to get that basic skills to learn that accumulate ability to really level up quick chemist the uh oh in the beginning you rely so much on potions and stuff and chemist is the only one that can like throw them uh however once you get a gun then chemists can equip guns and then they can actually be on the attack as well and then we have the female archer the male squire and the chocobo from this from Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, I wasn't able to find like the red and black chocobo because I feel like those are really cool. Here we have Rams again. I really like that armor. It looks really cool. All right, here we go. This is the big one, guys. Final Fantasy VII, by far my favorite. There's like ten games or something crazy like that. There's a movie. There's a bunch of short films. Very cool. Jesse and Biggs from the beginning of the game. Ah, Final Fantasy VII. That was it. Uh, Yuffie. Um, this was from the movie. Some of the characters I'm not crazy about how they kind of like designed them in the movie, but Yuffie was pretty cool, I guess. Sephiroth. There weren't many Sephiroths that were really cheap, and this one, he, I mean, it's kind of that iconic scene where he's walking away in the fire. Um, and then uh, I do like this art. This is from the actual game of Yuffie. Kate Sith, one of the weirder characters, but uh, kind of an interesting storyline where he's actually part of Shinra and he's actually remote controlling this doll or whatever. <laughs> Very strange. Ah, Vincent Valentine. He's one of my favorites, actually. Um, didn't really use him much during the game. In fact, I thought his limit bursts were really bad, how you kind of lose control of him. But 
I really liked the character. I think it was in the movie that I came to really uh, appreciate Vincent. I feel like he was the only character that really helped Cloud outside like the main battle. And uh, just his, his fight scene is really cool. Ah, Reno. Like as far as like different games, there was a game just for the Turks. I don't remember what it was called, but then I kind of like read the story and uh, the Turks were really cool. I feel like when you just play the game, they just feel like these goons that are really weak. Uh, but they have a really interesting storyline, even like the, with Reno, or I think he was like up and coming in that in that time period. Aerith, uh, Aerith was kind of expensive, so I could only pick up this one. Uh, she's, not even, she's not even facing us, <laughs> but Aerith, obviously, really cool character. Uh, how interesting how they called her Aeris, despite her name really being Aerith. And we have a foil Biggs. Oh wait, uh, yeah, Biggs. Yeah, forgot about Biggs. Um, and then Rude, Reno's right hand man. All right, now we're moving on to the sleeve cards because that just means I thought they were cooler, so I figured I'd put them in a sleeve. And then towards the back, we have some double sleeve ones. So this was just a really cute peek, uh, not Pikachu, <laughs> a Chuckabo card. Um, just really cute art. Here we have a squad, and this is, um, I think you know, it does say eight, but I don't. I see, like, yes, he's still Squall, but I see uh, Leon from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, interesting how they changed his name, because since he's Squall Lionheart, they just changed his name. So, I feel like they called him by, like, a nickname, Leon, instead. Uh, to be honest, I like the art. His Kingdom Hearts are better than the Final Fantasy VIII one. Here we have the classic Squall picture, um, where this is kind of, like, I think, when he first arrives. Although, he's holding a sword, so I'm not sure. And then another very cool Riku. Uh, we did pick up one uh, Lightning. Uh, I've never really played the games, but Lightning does seem pretty pretty badass. All right, here we go. Some Final Fantasy Brave Exvius cards. As far as like gotcha games, this was probably the the only one that I played seriously, and I played for a long time. Um, so here we have Rain. We basically picked up some of the main characters: Fina, Lid. So this, I don't remember what the artist name is, but we have that unique art for um, Lid and Lastwell. Here we have a very cool art of Ramza. Wow, fancy tactics again, like tied for my favorite. Uh, here's another Ramza. And these are like, I think this was like a legendary or something. And then a, the Lita. So this is kind of like uh, maybe when he's a king or it's further in the storyline. Um, I think this is art from kind of like early on in the game. Ah, Orlando. Uh, Orlando, you get only a uh, chapter four, so it's towards the end of the game, but I feel like at that point, like, all right, he just breaks the game. Uh, he's so strong, and unless you pay attention to the storyline, he kind of just appears in your, in your party. But he is the um, the all swordsman, basically, characters like Agrius, they, they you get like the holy swordsman that has a lot of cool abilities, and like Orlando's like, yeah, I got that, I got got stuff that Beowulf had, I had stuff that Gafgarion had, I have all the cool sword abilities that are super strong I have Excalibur that gives me haste all the time this guy was absolutely broken Bastadio he's like the first time you get a gun and he, his aim abilities are super strong, can prevent enemies from moving or attacking ah, the Holy Swordsman Agrius um, Agrius is one that I feel like everyone likes, you get her earlier um and she's like just always looking out for the princess and just you know very cool character then there's another orlando all right now we're back to final fantasy 7 a very cool chuckable art ah here we do have a Sephiroth. uh just kind of like the classic uh portrait of him same you know, chuckable Ooh, a very cool vincent uh vincent was cool because he, he had this like gauntlet kind of thing on his left arm and then his his gun arm not his gun arm not to be confused with Barrett but the his arm that held the gun ah Zack um, very cool character very cool he makes the story even better uh, you might not realize it when you play the game um, but Zack did play a large role if you've never seen the short film Last Order watch it it is so cool um basically it's a story of after they got captured in the mansion this is zach and squall how uh basically zach broke them out and ultimately uh what happened how they got to midgar and how he ultimately died at the end and it, even zach like had uh a spin-off game it 
was it called Crisis Core? No, I don't think it was called Crisis Core. I don't remember, but it kind of had some backstory about his uh, mentor on Geel and Genesis and I um, can't remember everyone's name. Sid Highwind, very funny character. Ah, this is a cool, cool cloud art. This was before um, he lost all of his memory and took on Zack's persona. He was just a regular Shinra soldier. That was like probably one of my favorite plot twists of any video game. Uh, another cool art of Yuffie. Here we have some of the stuff from the movie, Cloud. His sword here in this movie was kind of weird, kind of cool. Uh, very similar art for Vincent. Ah, oh, we do have an era. Classic portrait art. Barrett Wallace. Uh, I do have like a figurine. Maybe I'll try to find him someday. Tifa from the movie. She feel like she only has like a couple cool fight scenes. The classic Tifa portrait art. Another cloud from the movie. Yuppie from the movie. Cloud again. Can you guess who my favorite character is? Red 13. Love this guy. Not sure what he is. Some kind of dog thing. <laughs> and then another Zack art. Another Yuffie. The classic uh, portrait. Another Red 13 from the movie. Is that Kate Sith with him? Looks like. I also don't understand that Kate Sith just used like some kind of hairpin to fight. Ooh, that's a pretty cool art. I feel like that's like his classic pose, but from the movie. Ah, oh, there's that classic pose. <laughs> Here we have Cloud, and then... Ah, so I actually have two of these. This was... So Ki Kingdom Hearts, I feel like they did a really good job of Cloud. Um, he's a little emo-ish, but... Uh, and he kind of has that wing. So it's interesting that Cloud has like the... Uh, not it's kind of like more closer more closely associated with like evil compared to sephiroth who's the evil guy that has more of like an angel wing um but i thought the kingdom heart cloud was just really cool so this one's kind of like a full art so you can kind of like see a sword all bandaged up uh very cool card so yeah guys uh just and uh if if Final Fantasy is as nostalgic for you as it is for me. Um, a lot of these cards can be picked up for under a dollar. Just go check out on Troll and Toad. The card quality of these things is super high. Uh, you think like Japanese Pokemon cards are good? Like this is, in my opinion, a step even higher. Just like the stock is really nice. Uh, so I, I don't know much about the game or whether it's good or anything like that but uh, this was purely just to have and yeah this is stuff I just really honestly like to look at and you know brings back so many good memories from my days playing those Final Fantasy games um, so uh, something very different if you did enjoy the video please hit that like button down below if you're new to the channel please subscribe for future content and as always thanks for all the support to everyone all my subs all the people that have comment like the videos um and etc so thank you to all of you um so uh yeah that's all we have for today i'm awana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace